Hi there and welcome to another Dominion work in progress video. This time showing off some of the stuff from the uh, dev GUI and the immediate mode GUI we've integrated to help us tweak all the settings we're going to need for the pilots, which you can see flying around in the background there. Uh, this is an internal 666 system, just showing all the profiling that we do. Uh, that green line that's jumping up and down that we just highlighted is showing the frames per second, which is a bit jumpy. We found out why that was. There was a timing error in uh, the Windows 10 timing code, so that's now fixed. Here the graphs you can see uh, things dropping and increasing as triangles come on screen as ships move and fly around. So uh, that's our own internal stuff. Okay, now to show off the immediate mode GUI, which is the uh, independent third party stuff we found watching, watching the GDC video on Indie GUI uh, by Ornut. Um, this is a superb bit of code, which you can easily integrate into an application. Uh, we did it in about 20 minutes here. Uh, and we can basically spend the next few hours configuring all these panels to show and break down the scene object and the scene. Um, as you can see, we can now explore the scene object in the left hand panel, click on one, and then click on breakdown tabs to show us more detail about each object. Um, this basically allows us to tweak everything if we expose it to be tweakable, um, which is going to help a lot when we're trying to balance all the MPC, Boyd and AI behavior parameters out, because there's quite a few and they all interplay a lot. Uh, this panel is showing us the vessel scene object information itself, what scenes it's present in, its locations in each scene, because we've got this hierarchical scene system. Then if we click on the next, uh, the pilot itself, this is giving us the buoyed behaviors at the top uh, for its alignment, cohesion, separation, avoidance, and tracking. Uh, that little graph you can see there as well is showing the angle between the thrust vector of the vessel and where the pilot actually wants it to go. Um, the bigger that angle, the more it will turn. And through this, we can basically click on any one of these parameters and tweak it live in real time and then see the effects happening in the game. So we haven't got to shell out and start hard coding parameters and so forth. Uh, at the minute, none of these settings are saved, but we could easily add that in so we could write out a settings file for each of these pilots to save the configuration, which is what we'll do at some point. Uh, this shows us the memory for the pilot. This tracks um, assessments it's done on the vessels around it, which you can see there, the threat assessments on the left. Basically, it'll analyze the threats relative to itself. And then that big list on the right is all the collisions it's remembered. And its memory at the minute is the last 30 seconds. And then as they expire, you see the list shrink and disappear dramatically until the next bout of attacks hits it. This panel shows us the um, pilot's personality. So we've got aggression, loyalty, bravery, determination, and cowardice at the moment. These are all 0 to 1 values. And we can basically slide and scale them to adjust the pilot's behavior as it analyzes all the data and the threats around it. And finally, just as a bonus for uh, one of our uh, regular blog readers, Cornflakes, uh, this is showing you the green dots in action. These are the velocity markers put up by the HUD, and they just show basically a grid, a cube rather, of dots that mark your velocity as you travel through space to give you a bit more orientation. Um, they're coded to each scene that you're traveling through. So this is local space in green, and I think then yellow is moving through planetary space, orange is stellar space, and then I think it's white for uh, traveling through interstellar space. And they'll just basically show how you're traveling as you go. Hope that helps you, Cornflakes. Uh, stay posted for the next video log. Thank you for watching.